Hello, everybody. Welcome to Safety. I'm Mr. Safety. I am training videos. Hello. Uh, this is Coffee Uncomfortable. That is my name. You can find me at twitch.youtube slash coffee uncomfortable. We did retail videos last time, and you guys seem to enjoy that quite a bit. So we're going to do safety. We're going to learn how to be safe in the workplace, safe in the kitchen, and even safe around fires. And I'll be the judge of safety because I'm actually Surf Safe certified. We follow all of OSHA's regulations. All right. Let's Let's get into this. Hey, hey guys, guess guess what guess what time it is? Guess what time it is? It's safety time! Time to be safe. <laughs> be cool about fire safety. If you don't wanna get burned. I'm glad that fire truck just exploded. Really happy clips and then kids and then fire and then kids. And it's like, whoa. Does their camera just not know how to focus at all? No, it's going to shake forever. Fire safety. This is really important safety knowledge. You must pay very close attention to the people in this video. If you want to stay alive. <laughs> There's a billowing fire if you want to stay alive. There's definitely not a fire in my room right now because of all the smoke. Josiah's on fire. Oh no! We gotta learn about fire safety if we want to stay alive. There's some cool rules about fire safety. Can't wait to learn about the cool rules. I too put word art on my Doritos. Yeah, it's a cool ranch Dorito, see, because it's blue. And if you learn them, you could be a deputy fire marshal. That escalated quick. Your name's not Marshall, your name is Chuck. They just scared Get right to the top of the chain of command. That's like saying if you get elected to your local office, you could become the president. <laughs> Which I guess isn't wrong, but like they kind of skipped all the... They don't need training. Throw the kids at the fire. Bro, just give them a super soaker. Somebody left out matches and a lighter. Okay. Remember. <laughs> Why does he have the face of an eight-year-old boy in the body of the rock? What happened here? Keep your eyes open and if you see these, tell a grown up right away but never touch them if you touch a match you will explode get an adult so they die instead because i when i light this make me explode okay tell a grown up instead don't touch matches guys we've evolved past the dorito we now also have a line as well that's the frito down the middle of the dorito <laughs> a meme. I've seen that thing before. Eddie was the smoke detector. I hate smoke. Is that Gilbert Gottfried? I don't think they got Gilbert Gottfried for be cool about fire safety, Brendan. Hey, it smells like fire in here. Can I get a smoke alarm that just hacks up a lung like it's been smoking for 45 years and then screams at me? But I'm dying up here. <laughs> if I can't do a charcoal painting with breakfast, I don't think I made it right. Who are you? She Smoke! Smoke detector! That can't not be Gilbert Gottfried. It is Gilbert Gottfried. I was right! Oh my god! It is Gilbert Gottfried! They just booked a cameo like Cold One. <laughs> like, hey, can you be a fire alarm? <laughs> He's like, sure! That's my job! <laughs> I hate smoke! I wonder if he hates smoke, guys. Smoke, 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 it gives me a headache, so whenever I see it or smell it, I make this noise to warn you. <laughs> I've never heard a smoke alarm that sounds like a swarm of locusts before. Oh no, I wasn't expecting that at all. It even like punched in, it was great. That's a different noise, what does that mean, Seymour? Now, if you hear me chirping, that could mean two things. I'm about to die! Sponge boy me, Bob! I have overdosed on black tar heroin, and I'm going to die! How many smoke detectors do you have in your home? Count them, yeah, you count them. Is there one outside your bedroom? No, don't worry, Seymour, there's not, I checked. You'll see more of me later. Get it? Because his name's Seymour? And you'll see more of him? Because <laughs> his name is Seymour, get it? Oh my god, look at the smoke. What am I going to do with this smoke? And remember, practice makes perfect. I too practice committing acts of arson. I'm going to practice setting my house on fire so I always know what to do when it's on fire. Hey, hey, up here. Up here, point to the one who's talking. Thank you, Seymour, the voice of reason in times of tribulation. Even they know no matter. 
got a high small, you got to fall and you got to crawl. What is that? I'm glad they ran Prince through the wash and that's what came out. Mr. Repairman, all the machines in my house are acting weird. I mean, the vacuum cleaner is supposed to sound like... Wait, hold on. Here's what a vacuum cleaner should sound like. Hold on. Oh, no. And the washing machine? Oh, forget about the washing machine. It sounds like... If you were to run your hands through a plate of wet spaghetti, that's probably about what it would sound like. You should throw your spaghetti against the wall if it sticks, you won. Who has a doorbell on the middle of their door? Boom, boom. All right, I'm ready to learn. Is that a threat? I have some boxes to cut. Do you guys just keep your Amazon boxes forever? Yeah, I'm just gonna record with a box around me from now on. Hey, Frank. Huh? Hey guys, just a quick content warning. There's some blood and gore in the rest of the videos we're gonna watch. We're gonna blur most of it out, but if you're sensitive to that or you're like eight, maybe don't watch the rest of the video. Who actively cuts while they're just not looking? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you cut yourself with this box cutter that you had in your hand. Have you never used a knife? Hey, you know how there's a tape splitter on most box cutters so you don't have to use the blade to open a box? Ew, what are you do? No. <laughs> Stop. That's more graphic than anything I've seen in this whole thing so far. Oh no, I cut the box incorrectly. What a shame that I cut the box incorrectly. He was doing so well and then he just takes the knife and decides to go. Ooh. Why did he, he open the box like a normal box? He was just like, let's cut it off and make a chest. Ah, uh, yes, knife. Can't tell what hurts more, being stabbed by a knife or having to watch this. That wasn't even a safety thing. That was just being bad at your job. In a wide variety of work settings and for many different tasks. Open the box by the box. Don't open it by the side. I don't know. He's got 12 whole liters in that box. Maybe he's just trying to be careful. <laughs> Let's learn how to prevent kitchens. It's where all our favorite things come from. Ooh, creme brulee. You tap that golden crust with your spoon and the gooey sweetness. This man has had an affair with creme brulee and you can tell. If a baggy sleeve or a hoodie drawstring should dangle over an open flame. I gotta change shirts. I'm not safe to be in a kitchen. Put on something safer like merch from store.nws.media. Your shoes are also a problem though. There we go. You ever just wear hiking boots to cook? Yeah, I too need to hike to my kitchen. Although sometimes that actually is the case. However, sleeveless tops leave your arms vulnerable to burns from splashes. Don't wear long sleeves, but don't wear no sleeves, but wear sleeves. Make sure your sleeves are sleeves. I have some sleeves, but not too much now, okay? Show me your hands. What did you do? Did you wipe your butt with your hands? Did you just fight a fire? Once you're each wearing a washable apron, and plastic gloves for hygiene. Who wears gloves in their home kitchen? Nobody. If you follow Surf Safe, then you always wear gloves when preparing food. It's actually not true. You actually only have to wear gloves if the internal temperature of what you're cooking isn't going to be above 165 degrees. Different meats have different internal temperatures. <laughs> okay, I guess we can skip this video if you're just gonna tell us everything that's in it. <laughs> for pumpkins and large gourds, use a heavy knife. Who eats gourds? I can't wait to eat sticky drywall. To avoid nasty accidents, never play pranks in the kitchen. It's just a prank, bro. Get pranked, Yo. you die. Pranked. Oh. You just got pranked. Today we're going to be kissing tea comfy on the beach. Here's my fan theory for the safety in the domestic kitchen cinematic universe. I think Scott and Claire are trapped in a purgatory where they are constantly forced to mutilate and kill each other until they get it right. And then they get to go see domestic kitchen God.
Yeah, you know when you pick up a knife, how you just like shake your hand around it real quick to just make sure you cut your hand open? Yeah, I make sure to just fully grip the blade of a knife. I've suffered so many hand injuries because I didn't follow proper hand safety. Allow cords to become wet or stand in water while using them and you could be in for a shock. You know the shielded cable that no end of it is anywhere near the water? Get it out. Ah, uh, yes, because he held on to the plastic casing on his appliance. He's gonna get electrocuted. That shielded? It's actually just an electric wall. Don't grab it. Push the victim away from contact with the current. If you know CPR and the patient needs it. Scott's just eating toast while she's dying on the ground. Boy, Claire, it's Tuesday, isn't it? Are you trying to make some toast in the toaster? Maybe you shouldn't be sticking the four congola dongish into the toast hamburgers, whatever the Brits call it. I don't know. They make up words. I think they made up the entire language. Never leave cupboard doors or drawers open. Oh, there's a box on the floor? Whoa! How did he fall like that? Literally, how did he fall like that? What, the drawer in your fridge was open? T, do you feel like you can cook in the kitchen without burning things down now? Absolutely not, but if I do, it's not my fault. It seems like it's all just burning. Oh my God. I love the cold open of this video so much. That's the only reason I added. <laughs> there are no accidents. <laughs> we'll go back to the beginning. Three, two, one. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> like that shouldn't be funny, but. She just immediately, zero to 100, falls off a 20 foot ladder and friggin' dies. I'm crying. More high impact lockout tag out safety training. More high impact lockout tag out safety training and from eri safety videos is no exception oh no yo he did he fell in the blender ah! he tried to turn himself into ice cream i hate that this doesn't look terribly fake either what is this saw when unqualified personnel attempt to perform lockout operations what are you doing no stop you are an idiot stop <laughs> are setting themselves up would you like to explode? You ever just open an electrical box and then meet God? A tragedy of miscommunication can easily occur. That was an intentional murder. I hate that organs are coming out of this. What? And turn a line-breaking operation into a nightmare. Oh no, he opened the fruit punch batch. I'm glad they just killed the Kool-Aid, man. These videos teach nothing aside from just showing us gore. Look at the budget we had for this video. After viewing this program, your maintenance workers will never forget the importance. Yeah, I bet they won't because they'll be traumatized forever. I wonder if that phone number is still valid. Do you think we could order from that number? T, you should try calling it. Thank you for calling AP Safety Training, home of ERI safety videos and Aurora Pictures. No way. If you know your party's four-digit extension, you may die. I'm not dealing with bots. <laughs> I want to know what to think about. My brain empty. Well, you're supposed to think about this. You were alive this morning. You were alive this morning and now you're dead. That's a very bold assumption to make. I didn't wake up until noon. When the sun came up. When the sun came up. Wow. When the sun came up. Let's Swing today and real quick. <laughs> okay. It's like a Podell, just okay. He's a mattress now. Woo! Yeah! I want that mattress. I like how you get to read it from the last word. They like dragged every single default iMovie text transition onto one clip. <laughs> ah! 
You're the one who must, must d- decide. decide. You you are you <laughs> one, one one who, who can. can. It's not a joke. How do you just purposely run your hand through the belt into the cog and just? I don't know, but I hope he saves those fingers for later because I'm hungry. Cheetos. Explosion proof tools? Oh no, my pliers broke. Guess I have to detonate them. He just turned on the detonate button. That's not even how that works. Think about this though. Oh, I'm thinking about it all right. After watching this video, I want to put my face next to the nearest electrical box and then shove a wrench in it so it'll blow up. All right. This is not Safety always is not easy. always easy. Think about this. That's a lot of periods to think about. I don't know. What do you think we learned today from our safety? We're all going to die no matter what we do. Exactly. I, I take back what I said earlier. I learned nothing. This is too much fun. T, tell us what you do. All right. I stream over on twitch.tv slash tcomfy. Can you put it between my hands? Like... YouTube is also twitch.tv. No. Twitch.tv slash youtube.com slash tcomfy. His links will be in the description for you to click on if you're interested in his content. I make funnies. Follow us on Twitter and Twitch and... In the meantime, hey, we have uh, a... Have a day. Be cool about fire safety. Be cool. If you don't want to get burned, be cool about fire safety. Be cool. If you won't stay in line.